Hey YouTubers, welcome to Rough Riders, thanks for stopping by. Back with another DIY video for you today. Uh, today we're working on my daughter's uh, Nissan Rogue. Um, got a whole bunch of things going on with the front end. She's, you know, the axles uh, need to be replaced, the uh, lower control arms, as well as the tie rod. So we're going to get uh, all of those things done. Uh, and I'll do that in a series of videos. But, um, you know, let's, uh, let's take a look at the tools required to do uh, some of these jobs. And uh, we'll uh, get started on it. Okay, tools you're going to need to for this job of getting the... Uh, control arm, the lower control arm out, a breaker bar. Um, absolutely going to need that because some of these things are in there really, really, really damn tight. Um, and so getting that extra leverage is going to be your, your friend. A uh, pry bar or pickle fork to get the ball joint out, a center punch, uh, one with a uh, tip on it that will help open things up is helpful. It's also good for knocking out some of the bolts that uh, um, without damaging the threads. If you're removing the sway bar, then a 19mm um, uh, open end wrench, an 18mm box end wrench, a half inch socket, an extension, a 21mm socket, and an 18mm socket. Okay, so here's what's going on on the driver's side. Uh, first off, you can see down here on the tie rod end. Um, we're leaking fluid and stuff. This is all dry rotted out. Uh, as we go up into the uh, axle area, you can see that the axle uh, boot is toast as well. Dropped all its grease and everything, so that needs to be re replaced. We're going to go ahead and replace the whole axle. And then the uh, lower control arm, which is this piece down here, um, has a bushing uh, uh, or a, uh, a ball joint on the end of it uh, right back here I can't really get to it with this camera right now but you know that's all toast and everything so we're gonna go ahead and replace all of that as well but um, you know let's uh, let's start tearing into these things one at a time and uh, I'll show you what I'm doing okay so for the control arm the lower control arm you've got an 18 millimeter castle nut right there and an 18 millimeter bolt then you got um, a 21 millimeter right there and then there's also one right over here on the other side those are 21 millimeter and then for the ball joint you've got an 18 millimeter here on both sides so those are the ones you've got to remove some of these are going to be a little tricky to get to especially that right back there uh, because you have um, the sway bar and stuff in the way so uh, I may end up just removing the uh, sway bar bolt and getting that see if that gets out of the way so I can get to those bolts. Uh, one thing you got to be aware of is put a lot of uh, penetration oil, um, WD-40 something on there to try and break the rust because these things are in there really, really tight. For this uh, front one back here, I've got a long extension set up so that I can get to that. So I'll show you that uh, as I get these things broken free. Um, let me go fight with these things first to get them all loosened up and then I will uh, come back and show you how everything comes apart. Okay, um, I'm starting on the driver's side control arm and knowing the problem I had getting the other side broken free, um, I'm, I've got a box in wrench on the castle nut up here and I've got my impact wrench, my air gun, uh, set up uh, with an 18 millimeter socket and I'm using this to, to break it free and see if I can do that. So. Um, that actually worked really well. I've already already did it, um, and it worked uh, exceptionally well. Okay, I'm going to take off the bottom part of the sway bar uh, uh, linkage. Um, this is a 18 millimeter bolt with a 19 millimeter inside uh, bolt to hold it steady. So I'm going to do that right now and get pop this off so that I can get things out of the way and try and get to those other bolts. Okay, so I've got an extension with a 21 millimeter socket. I'm not 
going to pull out all the way, just get it loosened up enough. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the ball joint uh, so that way the upper part of the control arm is stable when I pull the ball joint. Okay, so for the ball joint, um, there is a nut here. You can either use a box end wrench or I've got a half inch socket set up actually on both sides. So that way um, I can get uh, uh, good leverage on these and I'm just going to go ahead and break them free right now. Okay, they're on, they're really pretty tight, but you can break them free with enough leverage. Um, it's like everything else up on the suspension. It's Everything's torqued down really tight and rusted in place. We're going to pop the bolt, uh, the, the nut back on until it's flush with the, the thread, threads on the bolt. So that way I can smack it harder without damaging the threads. There we go. And go back to my center punch and knock it the rest away. Just like that. Okay, so here's the ball joint. Here's the bolt I just took out. You can see I got a split right here. And I need to open this up so that the, the joint itself, this is the top of the ball joint, can pull out. Um, so I've got to I've got to open this up. So I'm going to try and get to that with a chisel. I won't be able to hold the camera and show that, so I um, uh, apologize, but um, some really tough angles here to, to try and capture on video. I've got another center punch with a little uh, wedge tip on it. And I'm going to go in here and just start smacking this loose. Opening that thing up. Let's see if we can get that knuckle open up a little bit more. So I just got a little bit of a pry bar here. There's the other 21 millimeter out. We're loose on the front part, so I just gotta get this ball joint to pop free. Let's see if it'll drop now. My wedge is open. Okay, here's the uh, old control arms out sitting alongside the new ones. These are from Import Direct. We picked them up at O'Reilly's for around $100 a piece. Uh, you can find prices on these things online anywhere from like $80, $90 a pop to, you know, $135, $140. So um, go with what you feel comfortable. Uh, these seem like they're respectable parts. They They match up to the old ones you know perfectly so uh, they should be they should be fine okay so popping the new arm in pretty much the same as taking the old one out just kind of have to wedge this joint in up here get the whole steering assembly out of the way bolts in okay. and here's my castle nut it has to go on this side over here
Okay, I wasn't able to find the exact torque settings, torque settings for this. Um, so, uh, based upon how hard they were to get off, and uh, some other just general ballpark stuff that I found for Altima and other Nissans, uh, it looks like these things are, are somewhere between 70 and 90 foot-pounds, so I'm setting it up for 80, and uh, that's where I'm going to tighten them down to. Okay, so getting the ball joint in is going to be a little tricky. You want to try and get it as square going up into the uh, socket as possible. And we're going to drop that down. I think I'm going to grease it up a little bit to see if I can get it to slide up a little bit easier. For that, I got a can of grease. Hopefully, that'll make it go slide up a little bit easier. Grease up the inside of the socket as well. Let's see if we can get the sucker to pop in. big blue to persuade it to get in there. Just like that. Alright, now we can clean up the bolt and put this in as well. And I'm not going to overly tighten this one because I couldn't get this axle out. It's basically frozen in there. So um, I need to take it to a shop where they've got a press or something like that that can get it out because I've tried the slide hammer, I've tried prying it out. Uh, nothing's making this thing budge. So I'm putting everything back together um, and then we'll get it down to a shop where they've got a press or something that can pull that out. So um, that's what we're going to do on that. The rest of this I'm going to go ahead and put back together and we'll uh, get it taken care of.